In this lesson, we're going to look at the sum of an arithmetic series. Let me quickly show you something pretty interesting. So in previous lessons, I showed you something like 3, 5, 7, 9. And what we said with, was that, that that was called an arithmetic sequence. But now we're going to look at things that go 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus 9. So it's still arithmetic because you're still adding the same amount. You can see we're adding 2, adding 2, adding 2. But because we have pluses in between them instead of semicolons, then we will rather, instead of calling this a sequence, we will call this an arithmetic series. Okay, so a series is when we are adding them all together like this. The formula that we use for an arithmetic series is Sn equals to n over 2 multiplied by a1 plus a n. So we've, we have spoken about this in previous lessons, but n would be your number of terms or your position. Yeah, in this case, it would be number of terms. A1 is the first term. An would be the last term. And then Sn is the sum. That's the answer. So let's go have a look at some examples. So it says here, determine the sum of the series. Now, there's actually quite a bit of um, things that we need to speak about here. So we know that this is the formula for the sum, okay? But, so let's see what we have. This 3, that would be a1. That's term 1. This 141, that's the last term. So that would be an. But we don't know what n is. We don't know how many terms we actually have. We don't know how many numbers are in between here. So what we will actually do, and this is something that we're going to do quite often, is we're going to use the se sequence formula that we learned about a while back, which is the one that goes like this. Do you remember that one? And what we're going to do is we're going to use this one to try help us calculate n. How would we do that? Well, what we'll do is we'll take this last term, and we know that that one's 141, so we'll plug that in there. We know that a1 is 3. We know that the difference between the numbers is 2. And then the only unknown is n. So if we can go calculate n, well, let's, let's first take this 3 to the left. So it'll become 138 because we're going to say 141 take away 3. And then we left with this. I'm going to divide both sides by 2, which is 69. And then I'm going to take the minus 1 to the other side. And so n is 70. And so what that means is that this is position. This is position 70. But if this is the last uh, term in the entire sequence and it's at position 70, then that means that there are 70 numbers altogether. So n would be 70 in this formula. So we could find out the sum of all 70 terms now by saying 70 over 2, a1 is 3, and then the last term is 141. And then we can go work everything out. And that's going to be 5040. So if you had to go plus all of these numbers together, you would get 5,040. Here's another example. So they want us to find the sum. We can see that we're subtracting 5 each time over here. Subtract 5, subtract 5. We know that the sum formula for an arithmetic series goes like this. Once again, we don't know how many terms there are. So we would have to use our sequence formula to help us find n. So we could do that by looking at this very last term, and we could fill that in there. a1 is 100. The difference is negative 5. So you could say plus negative 5, or you could just say negative 5 like that. And then n we don't know. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the 5n minus 1 to the left. There's so many ways you could have done this. And I'm going to take the 40 to the right. And so you end up with this. I'm going to divide both sides by 5 to end up with n minus 1 is 12. And if you had to solve for n, you would get 13. That might have been a little fast, but that means you should pause the video and try to do it your own way. And you would see that you should still get to 13. Now we can use this formula. So the sum of all 13 terms is going to be 13 over 2. a1 is 100. And then the last term is 40. 
go ahead, type that all in, and you end up with 910. So if you had to go add up all of these numbers together, you would get 910.